Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Jo here, I hope you're all well and having a wonderful day. If you're new here, I'm Jo, I do craft videos, I do three a week, then I do a Poundland haul every fortnight plus my charity shop finds. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, if you leave a comment, I will reply and if you've not subscribed and you want to see more from me, then it would be wonderful if you joined our family and friends. If you're returning, as always my friends, welcome back, thank you for your continued support, I love doing these videos so, so much and I will say it every time I upload a video, but I really do and now that I've not been going out much yeah I've just been crafting so much so yeah thank you for coming back and supporting me so for today's video I wanted to do a spring stroke easter de decor piece or display so yeah we'll get into today's video so the first thing I'm going to use is one of the Poundland Rabbits. I painted this in acrylic white paint. I did two coats. I was going to spray paint it, but because there's quite a lot of ridging on the fur around the outside of the rabbit, I wanted to make sure that it was completely covered. So I thought a paintbrush would work better. And then I'm also using some of the three ply napkins. These are from Asda and you get a pack of 20 for a pound. Then I'm using a mixture of foliage and flowers that I pick up from my local market that I pay a pound a bunch for. And for the base of our display and the eggs, I'm going to be using a cardboard ring that I picked up in Asda that they were chucking out. And I'm also using an old cardboard box and I'll be using the box to make the eggs as well at the back of the display. You'll also need some A4 white card to cover the cardboard. And then I used a mixture of ribbons to decorate, but I ended up using some gold ones that I had, so I didn't use any of the green or the twine either. You'll need a glue gun, a pair of scissors, a pair of tweezers, a pen, a ruler, and a glue stick. So yeah, we'll get into it. So the first thing I want to do is I want my base to be slightly bigger than the cardboard ring that I've already got. So I'm going to use an 8 inch hoop. This is an embroidery hoop. I do cross stitch so I've got loads of these. And I'm just going to draw around this on a cardboard box and cut it out with a pair of scissors. And then I'm going to glue it to the cardboard ring that we've already got to make the base. So now it's stuck into place, I'm going to paint it green and this is just to hide any of the cardboard underneath the flowers and the foliage that we're going to put on. So I'm just using a green acrylic paint, I'm going to do two coats and I'm going to make sure that I do underneath around the edge, I'm going to do around the ring and then I'm going to do the top of the cardboard as well. So my two coats are now dry and I was going to add some ribbon around the bottom but because you can't see it once it's on the table I've decided to just leave it painted green. But we're going to work on the eggs next and I'm just going to take two pieces of A4 white card. I'm going to fold them one landscape and one portrait and this is going to be our template for our eggs. So we need to have the eggs with a straight edge at the bottom so that we can glue them to the base. So I'm just using a ruler to draw a straight edge. And then from the end of my line, I'm going to start to draw half an egg shape so that once we cut it out and we unfold the card, we'll have our template. So I've got my two eggs, I've got a large one and a smaller one and I'm just going to see what it looks like on the base. I'm going to have the largest one at the back and then I'm going to have the smaller one just in front of the large egg. And now that I'm happy with them I'm going to take some more pieces of the cardboard box and I'm going to trace around these templates and then cut them out. So 
so now I've got my two cardboard eggs I'm going to recover these with cardboard and I'm going to just use a four white card because I want to hide the ridges so you can't see them when we place our napkins on I'm not going to use the templates that we've already cut out because we folded them and there's a line down the middle so I'm going to trace around this large one twice and I'm going to do the small one twice and I'm going to cover up the front and the back by using a glue stick and just gluing the card to the cardboard box so now our eggs are covered front and back we can start to add our napkins so I'm just going to take one of the napkins and it's three ply so there's three pieces of the napkin there's two white pieces and then the top layer which is the pattern piece which is the one that we want so I'm just going to pull off the pattern piece I'm going to take that completely off and then I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to start to decorate our eggs So I've now just placed the napkin over the egg where I want it and I'm going to use a mixture of water and PVA glue. I've done the same amount as water as the same amount of PVA glue and just mixed it up and I'm going to start from the centre of the egg and work my way out completely covering the napkin. I'm going to do this with the larger egg as well and I'm only going to do one side because you're not going to see the back of it so... I'm just going to completely cover it and then let it dry. So now our eggs are drying, I'm going to paint the rabbit. And like I said, I used quite a stiff brush and I ended up doing two coats. So I'm just going to take my time, work my way around, let it dry in between the coat and then do the other coat as well. So my rabbit's drying, my eggs are now dry so we can start to decorate these. I'm going to take some gold ribbon, this was from Poundland, I got it in the Christmas section, I've still got some left so I'm going to use this to go around the outside of the egg and hide the cardboard. You can use whatever you want for this obviously, um, I decided that I wanted gold. So I'm just going to glue that in place at the start of the base. And I'm going to work my way around and I'm going to leave the bottom bit without any ribbon on because this is where we're going to be sticking it to the base of our display. So the two eggs now have the ribbon around the outside and I'm now going to glue these in place on the base. So I'm just going to take a decent amount of hot glue, completely cover the bottom of our egg. And then I'm just going to hold that in place until it dries. Now I'm going to stick the other egg just in front of the larger one and then our eggs are in place. And now I'm going to take two of the eggs, plastic eggs from the Egg Dex decorating pack from Poundland. I'm going to take two of them and I'm going to cover them in the napkins as well and I'm going to use these on the base later on. So the rabbit's dry and I'm now going to stick him in place where I want him and I want him to sit to one side of the display just in front of the eggs. And I'm just covering the whole of the bottom of the rabbit and then I'm just going to pop that in place. Now 
Now to decorate around the outside, I'm using some leaves off one of my bunch of flowers. These were off some of the Lily of the Valley. They're just small pieces of leaves and I'm just going to cover around the front and the back of the base and I'm going to leave the section just to the right of the rabbit from there because I'm going to be popping some flowers and some more foliage there. So I've gone around the outside except from the area where I'm going to be sticking some leaves and now I'm just going to add one of the eggs that we covered with the napkins. And now I'm going to start to add some more of the foliage. I'm going to pop two of these leaves at the front to cover the gap that we left. So they're now in place and dry and I've moved one of the eggs because I wasn't too happy where it was placed so I've just moved that and obviously it's pulled up the paint but once we've got the rest of the foliage in I'm not going to be able to see that so I'm not too bothered about repainting it. So I'm going to be using this to cover the base. I'm not too sure what this is. I, it's like little miniature bushes. They're really cute. Um, and this is what I'm going to be using to fill the base of the display. And I'm just going to take sections of it. And I'm just going to glue them until I've completely covered the area. So I've completely covered the base now and I've also added another egg just in front of our smaller egg that we had in place and I'm really happy with how it's looking. I need to go and buy some more of this stuff tomorrow because I've got some other projects that I want to go and use it for so I'm going to try and pick some more up tomorrow but now that I've decided what I'm going to do with my eggs at the back I'm going to add some gold ribbon. If I'd have done this if I'd have known what I was going to use before I started this, I probably would have done this before I glued them in place. But I'm just going to add two strips of gold ribbon across the front of both of the eggs just to give it a little bit of decoration. I was going to use some pearl garland and this is the last bit that I've got left. But in the end I decided not to use it. I just like the ribbon on its own. So the ribbon's in place. I really like how it's looking and now I'm going to continue to work on the front of our display. I'm just going to take two pieces of some more greenery that I've got. I'm just going to put one on each side. And then I'm going to stick one of my white flowers in the center to hide where we've just glued them to in place. And then I'm just going to use my last two bits of my Lily of the Valley and I'm just going to place them underneath the flower. And then I'm going to add a little bit of gypsy grass around the top. And then to finish it off, I'm going to add some of these blue butterfly stickers that I picked up in Poundland a while ago. And I'm just going to add a few around So that's the base completely finished and now I'm just going to decorate the top of this egg. I'm going to use the same leaves that I used on the front. I'm just going to put three of them across the back of the top of the egg. And then I'm going to add three white roses in between the leaves. And then I'm just going to use some more bits of this greenery in between 
and at each end. And then to finish off, I'm just going to add another rose, one behind the smaller egg and then one at the front of the other egg, just at one side. And then it's done, guys. And here it is. I absolutely love it. I really enjoyed working on this one. I think it looks really nice, ready for spring. And yeah, I love the colours. I think the bunny looks so adorable, painted white. And yeah, I've learned a lot from making this one. It's the first time I've ever tried decoupage. The eggs at the back were really easy to do. The plastic eggs at the front, I need to practice more, but it's been loads of fun. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's giving you some ideas of what you can do using cardboard and napkins. And yeah, I will see you on Wednesday for my next craft. Take care for now, guys. Bye.